Uh, we wanted to make sure that we were accurate in our portrayal of this group called Advanced Persistent Threat 1, which we tie back to a Chinese PLA unit. Um, we wanted to make sure we had the evidence right. So this, this report was painstaking research, six years in the making, uh, before we finally decided to reveal everything we know about this group. Have you had any response from the U.S. or other intelligence authorities who might have cross-checked what you found? You know, we, we know what, uh, what your viewers probably know as well, that this morning the New York Times did confirm that there were those in the intelligence community uh, that also confirmed the information in our report. So we're, we're glad to hear that, but we're also very confident in the conclusions that we reached on our own based on all the evidence that we've seen. And we know that hacking inside security circles has been discussed and watched over for a while. What would you describe as the new element in your report? Sure. The new element, and what's really fascinating about what Mandian has provided in this report, is to fill in that missing link uh, between a state-sponsored, uh, you know, a military unit and a group of hackers. So we've talked a lot in the security industry in recent years about China being behind uh, cyber espionage attacks, uh, but the evidence we provide makes it pretty clear that this isn't some rogue group of hackers. They're not off on their own. They are um, part of PLA Unit 6, uh, 61398, uh, that they're sponsored by the military, and that the Communist Party of China is not only aware of their activities, but actually supports their activities. And what do you think the end desire is for these deliberate and perhaps systematic hacking attacks? What does China want to get out well, of Well, we actually... Sure, we know very well what China wants to get out of this. Uh, China wants to uh, steal intellectual property. Uh, in our report, we reveal 141 organizations. These are just the organizations that we know of by name. Uh, we anticipate there are probably hundreds more. 141 organizations targeted across 20 different industries, and hundreds of terabytes of intellectual property have been stolen from these organizations over the last six years. That's a massive amount of research, uh, intellectual property, plans for next generation uh, products that the United States and other Western companies would have been producing, uh, all of those really gone in, in a blink of an eye. And so it's pretty clear that China was after the intellectual property of these organizations.